So let's dive a little bit deeper into Google Photos. So log into your Google Photos and we're going to take a look at sharing in the print store. Under sharing you're going to see all the albums that other people have shared with you and things that you have shared with them. So if you um, click the triple dot you can leave, you can report abuse if someone is sharing something inappropriate, something like that. You can even block a particular person if you don't like what they've shared with you. But otherwise you can take a look at their photos, you can add them to your albums, you can print them, you can do everything that someone else has shared with you. Print store, that's all it is. You can order photos here from your pictures. You can also create photo books and Premiere and even canvas prints. So lots of different things that you can do from your pictures directly from Google Photos. Favorites is going to list all your favorites that have um, that you've put a little click on this stars. You can also find those in Explore again by clicking on favorites and it will bring them all up. Albums. This is a great way to organize your photos. So you'll notice that there are some albums here that I've created. They're, if you think of them as like folders, so it's really easy to click on create an album and add a title for that album. and then add photos. And then you just put a little check mark in any photos that you want to add to that album. When you're finished, click done. Okay, and now that album will be in the albums folder right here. You can click on it, you can share it with other people, you can rename it um, with the triple dot and even delete that album. That does not delete the pictures, it just deletes the album and so those pictures won't be organized in that way, but the pictures will still be up here. You can also add more to that album later on underneath Explore. Let's say some of these mountain ones belong in there. I would just put a check mark here and then underneath the um, plus sign, I would add it to the album and go find the album that I wanted to add those to. And now when I go back, and I go to my albums and look at my, my picks albums, you'll see that the new ones that I added are in there as well. So again, we took a look at sharing. These are the ones that people have shared with us. We looked at printing your pictures, making books and canvases, and looking at how to see all your favorites at a glance, and then how to organize by albums by clicking the create an album, giving it a name, and selecting photos that go in that album. Hope that gets you started using Google Photos.